In this quick and easy video guide, we're going to see how we can create a normal map using a website and then how to create a quick material here in Blender. So I'm just going to start with the new file so you can see all the steps. And we're going to start by searching for a texture. So I'm going to expand here my web browser window. And I search here texture seamless because these are the best and they don't have seams unless you want to. For example, if you use tiles, well, they definitely gonna have seams because they're gonna be cutted by the, the 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 tiles themselves. So I've chosen this one here is from Wikimedia Commons. It's called the dark gray clean seamless. So you can open up the page and you can right click and save it. Of course, you can use any other text that you want. Now, sometimes you have the whole package of the texture that you need in your 3D software to create the material. In other cases, you don't have those. You just have one. Or perhaps you've taken the picture yourself and then you need to adjust it and prepare it for the 3D. And we saw that how to do that in other videos and in Photoshop and or in GIMP. And then we need to have the other uh, texture if you want to create a PBR material, physical base render material, or a more realistic material in general. So in that case, we need at least the roughness, which can be used also like this, like a black and white image. And then the, the most problematic, the most difficult is the normal map. Now there are web services to create normal maps and there are also like tools in Photoshop or other uh, software out there like Materialize. And again, we created other video guides about these uh, different uh, possibilities. Now in this video, we're gonna see a quick and fast option, which is called Smart Norm Map. Now this is a website, it's called now Smart Norma uh, 2.0, and we're gonna open this, and this is gonna, how it's gonna appear. Where well, actually the first time it's gonna appear like this, so I'm just gonna refresh the page so you can start, and all you need to do here is click on Load up here, and then get your text that you downloaded from the web, and then you can open it up. Now you can see a preview of what the normal map will be. Now, if you wanna adjust it, you can adjust it here with the bias. So I can like increase it or decrease it depending on you know the, the strength also that you want, but you can also usually adjust that in your software, in your 3D software. You can also invert the R and the G and that's gonna invert the effect of the extruded part and like the relief part and the carved part. And then you have the blur. Now for the blur, you can increase it and it's gonna like get rid of some details if you don't want them. If you wanna keep it sharp, just leave the, the, the blur low or just leave it deactivated. So I'm just gonna deactivate the blur. Now you can see you don't have so many options. Once you're finished, you just save and it's gonna open up a new web page. So all you need to do here, right click, save the image and I'm gonna save it in this folder here. There you go. I, I already created one, so I'm just gonna override it. And this is gonna be a PNG image. So I'm gonna save it, and now I'm ready. I'm ready to place it in whatever render engine I'm using. For example, if I'm using uh, V-Ray on Rhino or V-Ray on SketchUp, or if I use 3ds Max with Arnold or Octane for Blender or Corona for Cinema 4D and so on. So you can use it anywhere. So you need to have, of course, at least one software installed. In my case, I have Blender because this is free open source. And by the way, you'll find all the courses and the guides in the channel concerning 3D software and render engines. So I'm just gonna do the example here in Blender. So you open up Blender, you install it, download it for free, and then open it up and go directly here on the top, click on shading, and you have the representation here of the material as nodes so this is the node editor for the material now if we want to create quickly some texture here we can just drag and drop from the folder so this is the folder where i saved my normal map i'm just going to click and drag that inside the editor and you can see it automatically creates a texture node now that texture node needs to go in the normal channel but these are different colors meaning that you can just not plug this in like this you need to create an extra node and to do that i'm going to click and drag this with the left mouse i'm going to leave it here in the middle and it's going to open up this uh, quick selection panel so i'm going to type here uh, well you have it right there normal map color or just type normal map 
and choose normal map color. That's a node that will convert your uh, simple texture here into a normal map that you can use in Blender. So you can click and drag that, do this connection, and you should see the effect. So this is the plain uh, material, like white material, but with the normal map added. Now, if you want to see the best results here in Blender, you can use the Cycles rendering engine. So if you click here, this is the EV renderer. And here, if you click on this little camera, you can change from EV to Cycles. And that's going to be your best option. And you can see, again, the 3D superficial fake effect of the normal. This is also thanks to a light that we have in the scene. Now, I'm going to turn this off because we can already see the preview here. It's quite visible and you can understand what you're doing also from here. Now, of course, if you want to add also the, the original texture in the base color, I can click and drag this yellow, leave it, and then just type image texture or you can find it right here. And there you go. Just going to click on open, navigate into the texture folder where I saved the original image, open the image, and that's it. Now I have a combination of the two the diffuse plus the normal map. Now to have a, a, a better performance here for the material, we should create also a roughness map, which is usually black and white or gray. So we can kind of use this one here also for the roughness and see what's gonna happen. And there you go. So we have now some reflection, or some reflective part and some non-reflective. But again, to create like a complete material, you should use at least three texture, one for the diffuse, one for the roughness, and of course, one for the normal. And this is kind of a quick example, but you can see other video guides again in the channel explaining other things and other techniques and other uh, websites or software that you can use to create your texture and also to create some UV mapping here because you can see that this is quite big. So we need to make it uh, a little bit smaller. So search for mapping, search for texture in our channel, you will find other guides among many other courses that you'll find so this will be all for this video i hope you enjoyed if you did please subscribe and stay updated for more and if you want to support us thank us you can join the channel as a supporter thanks again see you in the next video guys